Alright ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of bullshit tutorials out there about FPS and shit and they're like 20 minutes long. So today I'm going to try to teach you how to get more FPS on CSGO without wasting much of your time. Alright, to start I want to go over the video settings. If you guys have already seen this, I'm going to put up a thing on the screen right now to skip to the next steps. But for the guys who haven't seen it, these are the video settings that you need to use. Color mode, um, computer monitor, brightness, uh, usually 100%, 150 maybe, aspect ratio, widescreen 16 by 9, 19 by, uh, 1920 by 1080, you can drop it down lower and play stretched, um, and that will give you more FPS, a lot of people play stretched regardless because it just helps with gameplay. <clears throat> Moving on, global shadow quality, leave that on high so you can see shadows around corners and stuff. Uh, model texture detail low effect low shaders low multi-core rendering leave that enabled multi sampling anti-aliasing you can turn anti-aliasing off all it does is smooth lines on characters and sometimes if you turn it off it's easier to see people move because you can see pixels fly across your screen uh, it's kind of hard to explain you'll see it when you turn it off um, fx aa anti-aliasing you can turn that off as well so turn both of these off Texture filtering mode, turn that down, bilinear, uh, wait for vertical sync, disable that, motion blur, disable that, go ahead and hit apply, that is the video settings. Alright, now on to the next thing, you're going to want to download this FPS ben benchmark performance test. Alright, to download the FPS map, you're going to want to go to your library, click on games, click on counter strike, down here it says brown the, browse the workshop, click that, um, hit view page. Just type in FPS, hit enter, view page again, um, if that pops up. And it's this this map right here, FPS benchmark performance test. Just hit the little check right here, it should let you add it, and then next time you start up CS, it'll be there in your workshop maps. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to do a bunch of different commands very easily, and it will boost your FPS significantly. So I'm going to go in here, net underscore graph one. Um, right now I'm running at like six, six, seven hundred FPS. Um, and basically all you do is you go and you shoot all the recommended values. Bam. It actually looks like it, uh, hurt my FPS. Normally on lower end PCs though, this stuff will tend to help a lot more than higher end PCs because we don't really have to worry about stuff like that. But if you want to see if these settings helped you, uh, just go ahead before you do them, run a test. Um, you just hit this, it'll run through, through like an FPS test and then it'll give you the average FPS in your console. Um, and, and then go ahead, turn all these on, run the test again, and then you can kind of mess with them because some of them will decrease your FPS, some of them will increase. It really depends on your PC. All right, moving on. <laughs> We're on the desktop. Um, my background is fucking fantastic. Anyways, all right, the next thing we're going to do is launch options. So you're going to want to close CS. Um, you want to go to library and you want to go to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. You want to right click it, go to properties, set launch options. And then I already have a bunch in here, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Um, and I'm going to paste in uh, something that's in the description. It's in the top of the description or it's in the description somewhere. Go ahead and copy the launch options, paste them in here. Right here on refresh, you want to put your monitor's refresh rate. So I have a 240 hertz monitor. Uh, most people have 60 hertz. You'll know if you have higher. That's all I'm going to say. So if you only have 60, just put 60 here. If you have 144 hertz monitor, put 144 hertz or just 144. So if I have a 144 hertz monitor, I'm just going to put that. But I have a 240, so I'm going to put 240 right here under minus frequency. You want to do the same thing. So I'm going to put 240 as well. Okay, so for this threads one, you're going to want to look up your CPU. And the way you do that is you go to computer info. You type it in, uh, you just type computer info down here, hit system, and it'll pop up under processor. Google this processor and it'll tell you how many threads it has. So all you want to do is look up your CPU and then how many threads and it should pop up. So my 7700K has eight threads. So I'm going to go to the launch options right here and I'm just going to change the four to eight and then I'm going to hit OK. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the temp files so the way you do this a lot of people do not know about this which is hilarious but you're going to go down here and you're going to type run you're going to type in <coughs> percent app data percent you're going to hit okay okay and then you're going to hit app data 
up at the top by these uh by the path you're gonna hit local you're gonna scroll down until you see temp right here it's this folder and then all of these files will clutter up your pc and as you can see i have not emptied this in quite a minute so i have a lot of stuff i know people who have hundreds of gigs of stuff in their temp folder so basically all you want to do is scroll up to the top grab everything just select everything my pc is going to get hella fast after this and then you just hit delete <clears throat> and it's going to delete i had a thousand items okay so the for the first thing that pops up you're going to hit do this for all current items you're going to hit skip so then after it skips it's going to get rid of all the stuff that isn't being used in programs and after that you can close that out and i would also uh advise emptying your recycle bin you want to do that like pretty often so i just deleted all the temp files that i temporarily deleted another thing that people don't know is when your c drive uh what i'm talking about local disk when your c drive looks like this your games will run significantly slower especially when you're on a low-end pc so you always want to keep this at 50 percent of max so when you look at this pc this should be blue it, this should be looking like my external hard drive right here always if it's more than that and you need more space i would advise going and buying an external hard drive or something that you can move your files because when this thing is full your pc will run slower if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button and uh usually i don't make these kind of videos i'm usually i usually make funny moments but i do one every year so i just figured i might as well do it now so yeah if y'all enjoyed the video hit that sub button watch my newest video and uh hopefully you laugh but yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Shoo-wop, fair pussy. He is a man with a big fat pussy. He is a man with an outstanding vagina. He is a man.